Over the years, we've seen innovation and digitalization in almost everything. No matter in which field you work, you must have seen daily processes being modernized in one way or another. Well, there is some innovation for designers and architects as well. For any designer, the first thing is to get a printed structure that can be turned into reality. However, keeping this in mind, a concrete robotic arm can be introduced, which will surely make the printing process much easier and faster, and will increase precision. Hello and welcome to Modern Day Geeks. Today, we're going to talk about the amazing concrete robotic arm, how it was formed, and what it's used for. Stay tuned. The construction industry has been rapidly catching up in recent years in terms of digitalization and innovative tools. The majority of this technological advancement is in the engineering and design of structures. When you create a model of something, having accurate dimensions and a 3D structure that can give an idea of how the actual product would appear to be is very important. To address this concern, La Chapelle invented a 3D robotic hand. Well, we must have heard that many innovative ideas were created by mistake. The same is the case here. La Chapelle made the decision to educate himself in engineering and robotics because there wasn't much outside stimulation to keep his sharp mind occupied. Legos served as the plastic support platform for La Chapelle's first robotic hand. He constructed the fingers out of electrical tubing and the tendons, which are the substantial tissue that connects the fingers and thumb bones to their corresponding muscles and enables them to move. For this, he used a fishing line. The robotic hand was moved by a glove. As soon as he finished building the hand, he came up with modifications. He incorporated opposable thumbs and finger joints. Then he considered the possibility of 3D printing it. La Chapelle had to develop the technology necessary to produce custom limbs for a fraction of the cost of market ones in the early years of the company's existence. The device he ultimately created allowed users to scan their limbs using a 3D scanner at home, avoiding the need for in-person fittings. The limb is then printed, assembled, and tested by the firm. Advancements in product prototypes and biomedicine have already been made thanks to 3D printing technology, also known as additive manufacturing. But there's still a lot of unanswered questions regarding how 3D printed buildings would function in actual construction projects. The Beauvais Lab is ideally equipped to put large-scale 3D printing through its paces and the stresses and strains because of its capacity to test and validate manufactured materials and structures of all types and sizes. Currently, Cornell is one of just a few American universities with such a system. According to Derek Warner, a professor of civil and environmental engineering, it will not only allow faculty from the College of Engineering to conduct robotic construction research, but it will also give students practical experience in the rapidly expanding technological area within civil infrastructure. Robot 3D printing, also known as robotic arm 3D printing and robotic additive manufacturing, combines a multi-axis robotic arm with a 3D printer head to extrude polymers to provide a considerably more flexible 3D printer than standard versions. The robotic arm, with its enormous movement range, opens up a whole new world of creative flexibility in 3D printing and is increasingly employed for huge projects like mold making, large-scale prototypes, artistic sculptures, architectural parts, furniture, and even rockets. Because the arm can print from almost any angle, incredibly intricate curved geometries are possible. Additionally, it offers print sizes up to 30 meters or more, much larger than normal printers. You must be wondering, why is it a robotic arm? What is the purpose of this arm? The lack of support in most printed items from robotic arm 3D printers further increases design freedom and reduces material costs. This does call for self-supporting buildings, which ordinarily disallow overhanging designs. However, many manufacturers have found a solution for this issue by enabling the building platform to be turned around, allowing for the creation of overhangs. Fortunately, a growing number of software options today contain 3D printing modules that significantly reduce the amount of guesswork involved in the entire process, and improvements to these programs are moving them closer to a true CAD-to-print workflow. Robot-assisted 3D printing is a niche technology, as you would have expected. Thus, there aren't many printer manufacturers on the market. The majority of this technological advancement is in the engineering and design of structures. The B6 Group is moving forward with the realization of digital projects by utilizing 3D concrete printing. 
Using the 3D programs Revit and Grasshopper, the B6 group creates its models of each element first. The KUKA KR120R3900 robot will then be operated by the software. This robot has a nozzle for printing three-dimensional concrete. B6 Group can create an object in between 30 minutes and one hour thanks to the usage of a KUKA industrial robot arm for 3D concrete printing. For instance, a two-meter tall architectural column may be produced in about an hour. The engineering phase's design freedom is substantially increased by this B6 Group 3D concrete printing solution, which presents a wider range of possible solutions to customers. Moreover, ABB Robotics, a division of the Swedish-Swiss manufacturing behemoth ABB, creates industrial robots and automation solutions for a range of markets, including 3D printing. Many of its robot arms, including the IRB 7600, have highly accurate wrist movements that make them ideal for additive manufacturing. Only the arm is produced by ABB, not the end-of-arm extruder. However, the business has acknowledged the development and possibility of employing its arms for additive manufacturing and has made controls for 3D printing available in a new edition of its Robot Studio software. For customers in every segment of the construction sector and all across the world, CB Construction provides 3D concrete printing services. The often complex building process is made simpler with CB technology, software, and educational materials, making 3D concrete printing available to everyone. The CB Gantry is a 3D printer that has a three-dimensional printing zone where it can operate. Four columns and three beams make up the sturdy design of the Gantry. It works best when printing huge modules in a manufacturing setting, like finished apartments. It is perfect for construction firms who want to produce inexpensive houses. The German company, Weber, known for its extruder technology, also provides a complete robotic system for additive manufacturing. In a package known as the XDR series, the business offers to equip a modular, six-axis industrial robot with an extruder and a robotic cell enclosure. So that is all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. We're the Modern Day Geeks, and we talk about gaming, tech, films, and everything under the sun. Do not forget to hit the like and subscribe button to our channel, and do hit the bell icon on your way out. See ya!